Now, now, there is a drug that has been shown to you. Dil laga ke socho. The drug is acting on transglycolases and there is a failure of cross linkage in the bacterial cell wall and that is how its anterior bacter antibacterial action is dependent. So which is that typical antibiotics mechanism of action? What is the drug A is the question to all of you. Good. Very happy to see 111 online students. Very good. Very good doc. So in view of our century, crossing the century, we will try to retain this video in the youtube.com channel for today. Yeah. So uh, Ranjit Shaw proposes B, vancomycin. Most of you are absolutely right, vancomycin. Now doc, vancomycin is considered to be the drug of last resort. And uh, typically it acts on D ala D ala end of the peptide. It forms a cap over the end of the chain and it blocks the cross linking is what you have to basically remember. So it inhibits the peptido, PG boleto peptido, peptidoglycon, peptidoglycon biosynthesis on the bacterial cell wall is what you need to remember. Achha bhai, yaha, next question mein, jara story bahut lamba hai. A morbidly obese diabetic woman was on a failed metformin therapy. She has the history of pancreatitis, family history of bladder cancer and don't want to take injections. So she was given a diabetic drug and us diabetic drug ka mechanism of action dikhai de rahe hai. So what do you see here? This drug A is acting on SGLT2 receptor and inhibiting the SGLT2 so that the proximal tubular reabsorption of the glucose is inhibited. So there is a glucosuria which will occur because of that glucosuria. So now the question comes, which is the drug that has this kind of a mechanism of action, right? Mechanism of action. So Harshit Gowda is saying teraglutide is implicated in cancer. And uh, Soma Varapu, Sunandini, clean bowled, Sita, Sita Gliptin, uh, answer Kareto, Rama Gliptin will be unhappy. So, Sita nahi hai, kaun hai, jiska mechanism of action ye hai, Gliptin's ka mechanism kya hai. So, there is, uh, doctor, please uh, don't forget. Uh, before uh, some of you ha uh, have recently come up, but uh, uh, three weeks in this kind of evening sessions, three weeks we have discussed 1100 MCQs in the past 15 years of All India uh, entrance exam divided into 50 topics. We have discussed that and uh, this six to eight classes may. Pura concepts ko we have on uploaded into the uh, top need PG in 120 days program on the online mbbs.com. So pharmacology is one subject doctor you have to be obsessively sure because uh, this is one topic one area highly scoring subject. So if you have done this question wrong. Please go back to the video library and do the revision of diabetic drugs, which is the favorite uh, topic of the examiner, right? So it is canaglifosin. Most of you are absolutely right. Canaglifosin is the one which you need to remember. So how does canaglifosin work? The filtered glucose is reabsorbed um, in the proximal convoluted tubule. So uh, that is the one, um, the SGLT1, SGLT2 are the ones which are responsible. So this is the one which blocks the SGLT2 transporters, canaglifosin is what you have to remember. Excellent. Now, now the next question, Jara, 
ध्यान से आंसर करना है इसको यस वेरी गुड नाउ ए अननोन ड्रग इज बीइंग टेस्टेड इन एक्सपेरिमेंटल सेटअप द रिजल्ट्स आर ऑप्टेन एंड मेड अवेलेबल here the drug is causing a increase of the heart rate it is causing the tremors it is increasing the systolic bp and it is decreasing the diastolic bp matlab vasodilatation total peripheral resistance is coming down tremors bhi ho raha hai heart rate bhi badh raha hai so what is the most likely possibility that drug could be is a very important question Harshit Gowda is our opening batsman for this question. Answer A, bull ram. Very good. And uh, Madhushri thinks alpha one and uh, beta one agonist. Alpha one vasoconstriction, hai na beta. Madhu, you can't do this question wrong after attending uh, our pharmacology session. Alpha one, agar stimulant hai to agonist hai to vasoconstriction hota na bete. वैसो कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन हो गया तो आपका डायस्टोलिक बीपी गिरेगा नहीं सो इट शुड बी परफेक्टली वैसो डायलिट्री सो सैमसिंग इज प्रपोजिंग बी ओके एंड माला कृष्णा इज प्रपोजिंग बी माला कृष्णा इज प्रपोजिंग बी नव्या जिंदाबाद या या आई मीन हम तो थोड़ा विल पुल यूर लेग so uh, don't worry the purpose of the teacher is to pull the leg madhu so uh, no worries so you need to you need to do the revision and uh, you need to keep applying in the mcq context very good so you should you are right beta 1 beta 2 agonist is a drug beta 1 is typically there in the heart that's the reason the heart rate increases and beta 2 is the one which is causing vasodilatation and that is the reason tremors etc like salbutamol etc etc now doc this child who is being shown to you right a spotter hai dekhte hi looking at this lips only you should be in a position to make a diagnosis so the bp of this child is 70 by 40 now the question is how do you want to treat this given scenario is a important question yes doc so keep punching your answers <clears throat> so harshit gowda is proposing adrenaline half ml with 1 is to 1000 solution by intramuscular route roshan yadav also thinks the same amrita thinks the same hmm Satya Snigdha is proposing B, yes. And uh, Harshit says I M is the correct route. Bol raha hai. Very good. Intramuscular is the route of choice. Choice route. Harshit Gowda, absolutely right. Good. Very good. Very good. Now, doc, this patient had urethritis. Urethritis. and uh, you found this organism so looking at the organism what is your diagnosis what is your diagnosis and uh, what is your treatment a very simple easy question doctor harshit gowda absolutely good ganoria ganoria yes setu murugan is right about the earlier case that it is anaphylactic shock imamuddin khan is proposing sir prayaxon 250 mg no sir no sir gonococcal or non gonococcal irrespective of that what is the protocol in case of urethritis doc gonococcal or even non gonococcal azithromycin 2 g oral single dose ब्यूटिफुल क्वेश्चन राइट हाँ सो कल के एग्जाम में आए तो यू आर गोइंग टू रिमेंबर मी नाउ ए पेशेंट विथ एच आई वी डेवलप डायरिया 
and the fecal examination with the acid fastest staining is being shown to you so you are able to see a cyst so now the question is what is this organism is the examiner's question so Pratik Srivastava proposes uh, A. Suraj Srivastava proposes A. Achha, hum puchenge. Pratik Srivastava, Suraj Srivastava. You both are brothers. Which city are you from Suraj? And which city, Dr. Pratik? Uh, very good. Um, now we are becoming All India Radio. Pratik Srivastav, our um, Pratik Srivastav, our uh, cousin K, uh, Anrod Se, Apko Ye Geet, Farmai Se, Ye Geet Prastut Kar Rehe Hum. Ha. Fada Fada Bolo, what is your answer, doctor? Question number 26. Uh, Pratik Ji is from Varanasi. Ganga Maya Ko Pranam. So, what is your answer? So, Kodgram is proposing B, Mycobacterium avium intracellulate. Achha, ye acid fast staining bole to uh, clean bowl ho gaya, janab. So, you should remember it is isospora bellii is what you need to remember. Now, you identify this organism based upon the image. What is this organism? You call this mucor or pencilium or rhizopus or aspergillus acute angle dikh rahe aapko nahi to obtuse angle dikh rahe kya dikh rahe right suraj srivastava ji varanasi varanasi is in uh, up no ha agra wo bhi up mein hai very good so uh, srivastava ji next time taj mahal dekhne ke liye aaye to aapke ghar ko aayenge lunch ke liye ha so uh, Sara Kaderi, Sudha Shukla, they are all proposing acute angle branching of the aspergillus. Absolutely right. Absolutely. Now, a male from Himachal Pradesh presented with a history of a thorn prey a year back has a lesion, has a lesion which is being shown to you. Right? And this is the organism which you are able to see and the cysts of the organism and it is a dimorphic organism so what is the agent is a very important question question number 28 Sudhaji Bolre Sporotrichosis Rakhi also Harita also Malachi also and um, Harshit Gauda is proposing sclerotic bodies absolutely no, 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 doctor. Because of the prick, uh, prick you thought it as sporotrichosis. Okay. But uh, the point is, um, uh, ha, 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 ha. this is chromoblastomycosis, doctor. What you are having here? Verrucous lesion. This is a verrucous lesion. Verrucous lesion is a very important clue. And uh, the appearance of this organism is an important clue to call that as chromoblastomycosis Sudha Shukla absolutely right now doc best method of diagnosis um, best method of diagnosis of this condition uh, the patient was receiving antibiotics for past two weeks and he developed this is a colonoscopic appearance right Excellent. Soma Varapu Sunandini is rocking with microbiology Mahagyan. Absolutely right. Medlar or copper penny bodies. You should be very sure. So that is the whole purpose of uh, our classmates. Harshit Gauda made a guess but not a correct guess. It is not melanosis coli which you typically see in those who are using a lot of uh, laxative abuse. Hai to melanosis coli aega. Harshit Gauda ji. So, what is your answer for this question? So, question number 29. History deko, our endoscopy deko, our answer karo, Babu ji. Sudha Shukla proposes toxin gene directly. Achha? 
then uh, Ritu Raj is proposing toxin detection by ELISA. That's right. Very good. Toxin detection by ELISA. Oh my God, I can't believe 125 online. Thank you so much for coming to the session. Every day evening, please come and bring all your friends and enjoy the session. Do ghande baith ke questions, naya naya questions bana ke, right? Aapke saath discussion karke, aapko full activation mode mein leke jayenge, right? Haan. So, every week we used to have a clinical pathological conference while doing MD general medicine residency. There used to be one day mortality session, one radiology session. I did my MD general medicine from uh, Nizam's Institute of Medical Sciences those days. You need to be state first or second in order to join the uh, Nizam Institute of Medical Sciences. So, um, once more, oh, dinon ka yaad aare hai, aapke saath uh, image based questions discuss karte hai. Very good. So, doc, it is pseudomembranous colitis. The endoscopic appearance is what you should remember. And uh, yes. Now, doctor, you identify this organism from the given image so there is an endoflagella and uh, dna in the nucleoid riboplasm so what is your answer and there is a periplasm a sub appearance deketo which organism do you think doc question number 13 question number 13 yes so bhuvaneshwar bhaskar prateek Arsad Musa, everyone thinks it is leptospira. Excellent. So, one important point you need to remember, doctor, we use crystalline penicillin to treat the leptospira or any cell wall synthesis inhibitor like ceftriaxel also. Right? And leptospira is a close differential diagnosis for malaria. Malaria may be jaundice hota. Malaria also will lead to renal failure. And leptospira also jaundice, renal failure, typically a patient from a rural background is a classical, a farmer by occupation. So that is the reason we are an agrarian society with a lot of farming uh, community. So this kind of common conditions we should be in a position to discover. Somavarapu Sunandini is our professor Sunandini. Always keep adding some new points. Suddenly aapko yaad aagaya to. Keep typing, right? So live classes live face to face classes hote na doctor wahan kuch bhi baat karne ka nahi hota yahan to kuch bhi chahi aap baat kar sakte you can be able to enter and text it uh, that is the advantage of a live online interactive so uh, you should remember um, leptospira now based on the image microscopic appearance what is this organism that you are able to see? Right? Huh. So this is one important uh, classical question. Yes. Satya Snigdha Tripathi. Always right. Uh, Arsa clean bowl, Sudha clean bowl. Roshan is right. That is mycobacterium is what you should remember. 